everybody is supporting mom. Welcome back to my channel. On uh, today, we're going to do a little cooking. We're going to cook a meal that may be very familiar to some of you, and some of you may have never heard of this, jack mackerel and rice. Growing up, when we had jack mackerel and rice, we had the jack mackerel in the red can. If anybody out there lives near a store that sells the jack mackerel, listen up, in the red can, y'all might have to ship me some or tell me what store they're at so that I can go and purchase some. Because today we're going to cook these. They are mackerel and they are good. But I prefer the mackerel in the red can. But we're going to cook these on today. Y'all are going to love it. And what I want you to do, y'all know y'all like to cook for bait. Follow this video. Follow it just the way I'm going to show it to you. And you will be able to go in the kitchen. You will be able to cook bait, some jack mackerel, and some rice. So let's get right into this. Okay, you want to pour all of that, what is stored in it off. Then you're going to go over to the sink and you'll make sure it's all off. And I like to rinse mine off well. I have three nice mackerel that's in this can. So you're going to take each mackerel, there's a split. You see how it slid on this side? It's not slid on this side. So on the side that is slit, you're just going to open it up and there's the bone. Take this one, place it into the bowl that you're going to be using to mix. Take your finger, and you're just going to take the bone right out. Don't leave that bone in there. Your bag going to be upset, and you're going to repeat that with each one. Okay, normally uh, I put white onion in my in my mackerel, but I don't have any white onion, so today we're gonna use a little red onion. He gonna eat it, trust me, he gonna eat it. You gonna like it too. So dice this up. That's for the flavor, cause you don't wanna just taste some fish and mackerel real fishy, y'all. So why don't you dice it up? see while I'm doing this the rice is coming to a bowl remember I told you you know people say I don't eat white food you can eat white rice but the thing is you want to pour that starch off once this rice comes to a bowl all that starch is going to be on top and you're going to take it you're going to pour it off you're going to rinse it then you're going to put it back on the stove I eat my rice with margarine and sugar my husband eats his with salt and pepper let me know how y'all eat it and you have to keep it on low you know you don't want it to overflow all over your stove See how that rice is coming up nice? See how that starch coming up? You're going to take your spoon, stir your rice. And you can tell it's getting fluffy. You don't want crunchy rice. This is not pilaf. We're going to let that cook about three or four more minutes. And while that's going, you're going to go and you're going to get you two eggs. Before you put your eggs in, you want to put in a little meal. Just a little bit because you always want to make sure dry before you add your wick. And if you would like, you could put in a little salt and pepper. I'm not, because I want to taste the mackerel. And we're just going to mix it up here. Sweepy, why you use your hand? Because your hand is your best mixing tool. So just make sure that you wash your hands before you start to do this, okay? So we got that onion all mixed up in there. Mackerel all nice and mixed. Got our meal in there. Now we're gonna take your, your two eggs. I'm gonna crack your eggs.
told you about your grease being hot enough? You hear the sizzle? They pretty golden brown. You're gonna turn them over. Okay, the rice now is ready. Y'all see how it's boiling all the starch is came to the top. Look really close. You can see the mackerel are almost ready to be turned. So while we wait to turn that, we're gonna rinse off the rice. Just a little water back in my rice. All the starch is gone. And you're gonna heat it back up on the stove. You put it on low. And while you've done that, it's gonna be time for you to get ready to turn these mackerel. You're gonna get you a nice spatula. See how you can see the golden brown around here? So you know it's time to turn it. What I do is to keep them splashing. If you're scared, just do it like that and let it slide down. watching my video. I hope that you decide to follow the video and cook some mackerel and rice. Comment down below and let me know if you did. Also, don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know if you eat your rice with sugar or with salt and pepper. Y'all know Sweet Pea love you. Hugs and kisses to each and every one of you. Turn that bell off so that you won't miss my next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click, click, hit that subscribe button.